Welcome to 30 Minute Reviews. I am Adam. Let's discuss a book today. Um, I recently read, uh, well, I listened to, uh, I don't know why I keep clarifying that. I feel like it's something that, you know, goes along into it. It's a different experience to listen to a book than read a book. Um, not that one's better or worse than the other, but, you know, um, I found more recently that I prefer listening to audiobooks that can do that while I do other things rather than occupy time doing, um, you know, reading. Because reading, you can't really multitask. You can't multitask and read. Um. But you can, uh, you can multitask unless it's an audio book. You can drive, which is what I usually do. Uh, play video games. Uh, another thing that I will do while I'm doing an audio book, you can write. Third thing I do while listening to an audio book. Um, but the audio book I'm going to talk about today is, um, Stanley's Alliance's A Trick of Light, which you will not be able to get, uh, through Libby, which is what I usually use. Um, but we will, you will, you can get it through, um, Audible. Um, and because it's an Audible original. Um, I think that my biggest disappointment listening to this book, I've wanted to read this book for a while, I've heard good things about it, I've wanted to listen to it for a while, but it's, it's the first step into, I really don't want to say it, it's the first step into a larger universe, uh, a new one created by the late Stan Lee, um, this is the last thing he was working on before he died, uh, was, you know, this world, um, where people interfacing with computers, and a lot of cool things like that, and I very much love what they did here, and it, it, it's like, it's science fiction in the way that science fiction, uh, always has been, um, political in the ways that comics always have been, um, and taking stances, I, I love this book, um, you, it, you follow the story of, um, you follow Cameron, who gets stuck by lightning, and gets powers, uh, to interface computers, he kind of becomes a hacker with his mind, uh, who meets another girl, Nia, with similar abilities, uh, and, you know, their adventure, in, uh, dealing with this, and it does a lot of legwork with really setting up the world, and I think that's kind of where, this, uh, this book hits a little bit of a, a stumble, I think, uh, like, the world is great, but there's a ton of world bending in here to the point where, over the course of the audio book, and I just looked it up, I found out that it's an audio original that ended up coming out as a book, similar to Dooku Jedi Lost, um, which is another thing, and, of course, Afro, which we also just did recently, um, this was an audio book, audio book first that ended up going to... A physical copy. Eventually, they're going to do it with Sandman, I feel like, but that's that's what happened here. Um, now, I think that, um, and of course, Welcome to the Night Vale did the same thing, but, um, and that was a podcast. Either way, regardless, going back on topic, um, this, uh, what's it called? This, this book kind of stumbles the amount of exposition it levels on you over a very short amount of time. Um, because, like, in the beginning, you have Nia and, um, I don't know if you want to say Damien. Damien's not his name. Cameron's his name. Um, and, and, you know, they go through, they're, they're having fun, they're hacking things, they're, they're trying to make a world a better place, and then they pull on the wrong thread, and they come out with, the, and then they meet this company, and the company has ties to his father, and there's a, there's just a solid, like, I would say a solid ten chapters in the middle. It's just straight exposition. Um, and backstory ep- exposition from character one telling character two a story. And it's like, nothing really, uh, it's like, I, I get it, you need to build the world. I, I really like the way they built the world, and I like the world that they have created. I just wish they had done a better job of presenting the world. Um, where it's like, and now let me sit here and tell you this part of the story, and then they go to the next part, and like, and now let me sit here and tell you this part of the story, and then they go to the next part, and it's like, and now let me tell you about this part of the story. It's like, you can build a layered world in the way that this is, where it's like you have criminal organizations, uh, you have uh, criminal hacking organizations that have huge and wide-reaching, you know, uh, like tentacles all over the place, aliens coming and, you know, doing that, multiple alien races they're interacting with over the course of this book, and it's like, this is, like, there's a lot there, it's a lot to lay in, it's a lot for one, it's a 11-hour audiobook, they could have made it longer, um, 
And I feel like that's what it misses toward the middle, if we're being honest. I think that's what the middle misses, is this feeling of, like, what's it called? Um, uh, like, what's the one I'm looking for? Like, very much from the beginning, we have two teenagers who are starting to form a relationship. And that's very front-loaded in this book, where toward the beginning you get that a lot. Uh, and then that's kind of put on the back burner until the very end of the book. Um, and within the context, it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, it feels like uh, a waste. Um, like a big wasted opportunity. Um, to kind of sideline an entire character. I'm, 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 I'm being cagey about details. So I don't want to spoil. There's a big twist in the book that I think you'll figure out at the same time I did. Um, I don't want to, I don't really want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read the book yet. Um, definitely check it out, though. You can get the book wherever you buy books, um, and, uh, you can get it there. You can listen to the, to the, uh, original on Audible. Again, Audible does not sponsor the podcast. I just got Audible, and I found out when I got it, um, for Sandman that this was an Audible original, so I decided to check it out. Um, so the next two books we discuss are gonna be, um... The Hidden Girl and Other Stories by Ken Liu. Um, that's something that uh, I saw at Barnes & Noble I'm listening to now. Uh, then after that, we have... Uh, and I'm liking it so far from what I'm listening to. And then after that, uh, Thrawn. Um, uh, Thrawn... I forgot what the name of the book is. The new Thrawn book that comes out early next month uh, is going to be one of the next ones we do, too. So, uh, we'll be, we'll be back for that next time we do a book review. So, definitely check out Stan Lee's Alliance. It's a trick of light if you have not already. Um, which based on, you know, it was a bestseller, but based on what I saw on, uh, online, it doesn't have that big of a presence, and I'm not entirely sure why. It's, it, it's a, it's a solid read. It's a solid book, so definitely check it out. Um, and we'll be back with another episode in a few weeks, whenever we finish, whenever I finish this book. Um, so yeah, have a great rest of your week.